The Pasco County Sheriff's Office says it will not release video that shows when two skydivers fell to their deaths. It happened on Saturday in Zephyr Hills. Our Eric Waxler is live in Pasco County with the latest on that video and the investigation. Eric? Yeah, this is the Florida statute that prohibits that video from being released because it does show the death of two people. That makes it exempt from the sunshine laws. Now that we did hear from the detective who watched the video as part of the investigation, and obviously it was very difficult for him, as he said, to watch this video that shows the two men dying. The student skydiver, he says, appeared to lose consciousness and made no attempt to deploy his chute. His instructor, who the detective called the hero, made every effort to try and save him but could not get the cord pulled in time. They both fell to their deaths, hitting trees before they hit the ground. The families of the victims have been calling the sheriff's office, begging them not to release the video. If I was in their shoes, if I had to be in their suffering and pain, I would not want this video going viral on YouTube. Yeah, it's just a, it's a personal thing, and having a video out there on, on any, you know, YouTube or television network or anything, it, you know, it serves no purpose. I talked to the general manager of Skydive City in Zephyr Hills where the jump took place. He's been getting countless requests for that video from around the world. And he, again, is glad that it won't be released. He also says that there is nothing that happens when you free fall that should cause someone to go unconscious. But again, the investigation will continue. The sheriff's office will be meeting with the FAA later this week. Live in Pasco County, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.